In this video, we will look at the door sensor input, what it does and how to disable it if your machine is not fitted with one. If your machine does not have an enclosure, you will still need to configure a door sensor input and we will look at the scenario first. The first step is to go into the F1 screen and select the input you want to use. In this example, I'll use input 32. I drag the sidebar down until I see my selected input and double click on the function box of input 32. This brings up a list of available input functions that can be assigned. If you cannot find the door sensor input, it is because it is already assigned to another input, in my case input 8. To make the door sensor input available, I first need to delete input 8 by double clicking on the function box of input 8 and then double click the not used option. I then move down to input 32, double click the function box and double click to assign the door sensor input function to the input. I also need to set the status of the input to low by selecting input 32 and pressing the spacebar on my keyboard to toggle between high and low. By setting the input to low, this will effectively disable the door alarm. On a machine with an enclosure, the door sensor can be as simple as the normally open contact of a lever switch that operates when the door closes. The common side of the switch connects back to the positive rail of the power supply, while the normally open contact is connected to any one of the 32 inputs on MASO, and in my case, that's input 32. On the F1 screen, the door sensor input should show high when the door is open and low when the door is closed. In my case, it is reversed, so I select the input and press the spacebar to toggle the status. Now, when I open the door, the input goes high and returns to low when I close it again. On the F2 screen, you will see the door open and close indication as the door opens and closes. While machining a project, if the door is open, the machine will stop and will only commence again once the door is closed and the control S is pressed. However, the cycle start can be automated on closure of the door by going into the F1 screen, selecting General Settings and checking the Enable Cycle Start on Door Close and then click Save. Now when a job is running and the door is opened, the machine will stop, but once the door closes, the machine will automatically start running again.